The current landscape of the marathon is absolutely exploding, with all-time marks almost every time we see a competition take place. In 2023 alone, we've already seen two world records go down, we have seen various top 10 all-time performances, and we have also witnessed some of the deepest fields ever assembled over this distance, with finishing results only getting faster and faster every time a marathon is completed. From Kelvin Kiptum breaking the world record, to Safan Hassan running the second fastest marathon of all time, to Kipchoge once again winning another Berlin title, the trend of very quick running on the international scene is only getting more and more consistent with each passing season. And speaking of consistency, this is one of the primary traits that you will need to find in your running arsenal to become one of the greatest athletes in running history, making it a crucial component to a long and successful career. From Usain Bolt to Hisham El Garouj to none other than Kipchoge himself, the ability to maintain your fitness and repeatedly compete with the best in the world is a rare asset that brings these familiar faces so much international stardom. However, when it comes to the marathon, success can often be quite fleeting. The complication with the marathon is that it is such a long and grueling and unpredictable event that your body has more than two hours to completely betray you. Even Kenanisa Bekele from Ethiopia, the athlete that many consider to be the greatest distance runner of all time, has had some recent complications with the marathon, and the basic premise behind this is that he would often suffer very difficult complications over the second half. Furthermore, any small or nagging injury that a runner experiences will be drastically exacerbated when you're running 42 full kilometers. So at the end of the day, most people simply aren't built for the pounding nature of this event, especially when it comes to competing in a consistent manner on the international stage. However, one runner takes this idea and completely throws it out the window, and somehow he has now found himself as one of the most enduring, toughest, and long-lasting athletes in the event's history. This is the story of Yuki Kawauchi. On February 1st of 2009, Kawauchi ran his first marathon in the streets of Japan, where he only managed to place 20th with a time of 2 hours, 19 minutes, and 20 seconds. At the time, the young Kawauchi didn't exactly look like the next big prospect for international stardom. However, as the months and years rolled on, it became apparent that Yuki was a different kind of athlete. From 2009 through 2012, he ran a total of 19 marathons, which was far more than your average runner at the time. And amazingly, he managed to drop his personal record down to 2 hours, 8 minutes, and 37 seconds, more than a 10-minute drop from his very first marathon. At the 2011 Tokyo Marathon, the battle up front for much of the second half was between Haile Mekinen of Ethiopia and Paul Biwat from Kenya. However, running pretty close behind in third place was none other than the 23-year-old Yuki Kawauchi, who finished as Japan's first athlete in this Tokyo Marathon. With a time of 2.08.37, Kawauchi averaged 4 minutes and 54 seconds per mile for this entire marathon, bumping up his reputation once again on the international scene. And while these opening three years already proved much promise from this new athlete, the future of Kawauchi's running would prove to be otherworldly, because despite never reaching the overall speed of an athlete such as Elliot Kipchoge or Kelvin Kiptum, he accomplished something that many others see as just as impressive, if not more noteworthy, because from 2009 through 2023, Kawauchi set one of the all-time craziest records, not just in the marathon, but in the entire history of athletics, with a total of 113 marathons under 2 hours and 20 minutes. When you look at this number on the screen all by itself, it certainly is a very impressive number. Running more than 100 marathons by itself would already place your body in excruciating pain, but to run so fast, so consistently, is one of the most remarkable feats that anyone has ever achieved. All the way back in 2020, Yuki first achieved the historic number of 100 sub 2 hour and 20 minute marathons, a feat that was so impressive at the time that it made its way into the Guinness Book of World Records. This really was a towering achievement in the sport of the marathon, and it placed Yuki as one of the toughest and most enduring distance runners that the world has ever seen. But when we take a step back and look at exactly how he did this, it really makes you realize just how special Yuki Kawauchi actually is. Under traditional circumstances, a world-renowned marathoner only competes around two or three times every season. 
Take Elliot Kipchoge, for example. Since 2017, he has only competed in two marathons every season, except for 2020, which was severely hampered by the global pandemic. Now, the reason Kipchoge does this is because in order to compete at his very best and to avoid injury, he requires about four to five months of preparation and overall sharpening for his marathons. And it's also important to mention that recovering from a huge effort over the 26.2 mile distance also requires time, because if you compete too soon after a big race, injury is much more likely to take place. With such demanding physical efforts, running only a few races every season has now become the standard for many of the world's greatest marathoners. But as you have probably already realized, this does not apply to Yuki Kawauchi. Starting in 2013, he ran a total of 11 marathons, and every single one of these races were achieved in under two hours and 20 minutes. It's also quite important to mention that he also ran a total of 10 half marathons for the 2013 season. And for these races, he ran under 65 minutes for every race except for three. For every following season, Yuki somehow achieved this incredible running, finishing 13 marathons under 2 hours and 20 minutes for 2014, he finished 11 under 220 in 2015, and the numbers just keep going and going and going. It's also very important to mention that throughout this entire stretch, Yuki was working a traditional job in his home country of Japan, so he didn't have much time to train but somehow he found it within himself to continue training despite working more than 40 hours each week. There's actually various famous pictures of Kawauchi running in Japan while still having his work clothes on. And if this wasn't cool enough, he's also been spotted running marathons in various costumes, such as a ninja costume and a panda costume. And yes, he did run very impressive times in these outfits as well. Kawauchi's legacy through the early stages of the 2010s gave him the famous title as the Citizen Runner, because unlike many other athletes around the world, who have financial support throughout the entire year to train specifically for what they need, Kawauchi supported himself, and yet he still managed to participate in so many races throughout these seasons. One of the most impressive stretches in Yuki's running history comes from 2017 through 2018, where he caught absolute fire on the international scene, winning 8 out of 10 consecutive races, taking pretty big victories in many prominent marathons, including the Oslo Marathon, the Hofu Yomiuri Marathon, the New Taipei City Marathon, and the Marshfield Roadrunners Marathon on New Year's Day in the snow. But out of all of these very impressive times, nothing quite compares to what happened on April 16th of 2018, when Kawauchi somehow, against all odds, won the 2018 Boston Marathon, and he did it in extremely harsh conditions. Now, we've covered this race many times on this channel, and looking back on it, it was a literal miracle that he was able to win, as his personal record at the time didn't even place him in the top 10 for this field. But with a ruthless opening pace and a very abnormal ability to sustain his tempo against the wind and the rain, he completely blasted the field with one of the bravest running efforts that I have ever seen, and he walked away as an absolute legend and a new major marathon champion. And he also won $150,000 as well, a pretty famous payday for a magnificent effort. The fact that he has been able to throw down so many intense efforts during his build-up to the 2018 Boston Marathon is so uncommon that it practically defies logic. After setting the world ablaze with this race, despite the heavy rainfall, Yuki has only continued his march forward into greatness. And speaking of his recent races, he also made a huge effort at this year's Marathon Grand Championships in Tokyo, Japan, where he made his bid for his first Olympic appearance. Now, we did make a video on this just a few days ago, so we'll make sure to leave that video up in the right-hand corner right now. But to put it simply, for this race, he again took out the pace, despite a very heavy rainfall. And even though conditions were not quite as bad as Boston, he still used this rain to his advantage. And he finished this race in fourth place, just barely missing the podium, but he is the alternate for the Paris Games, so perhaps he'll make a trip as a potential Olympian to France next season. There is a very real argument to be made that Yuki might be the single most prolific marathoner of all time, and he's certainly one of the best athletes to compete in wind and the rain. But in a recent interview, Yuki stated that he sees no reason why he won't be running under 220 well into his 40s and perhaps even into his 50s. At the moment, Yuki averages around 10 sub-2 hour and 20 minute marathons every season. So given his current age of 36, 
let's say this gives him 14 more years of very solid running. In a slightly more conservative estimate, let's face the fact that he will probably find it slightly more difficult to break 220 as the years inevitably go by. So with a potential sub-220 rate of 8 marathons per year, we are still looking at an additional 112 marathons, which would incredibly place his total career amount at 225 marathons under 220. Given that his most recent marathon was achieved in 209.18, and he did this in the rain, I see no reason why Yuki won't continue to run very quick for at least the next 4 or 5 years, and with such a crazy number potentially reached into his future, this could be one of the most untouchable records to be set in running history. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.